Hi everyone, I'm Tom. Today I'm going to be playing Numeracy Legends and the Zerda Fox. Now Numeracy Legends is a trilogy of games that are for children, designed to teach them various aspects of maths and have fun and play a game at the same time. It's on Kickstarter right now. I'll put a link on the screen and in the description if you want to go and check out the page. This is the second in the series. So we have just uh, met with the Rainbow Unicorn and I was the person who was victorious and made the cupcakes. And the story of this game, so if you didn't see the first one, all of these games have a nice little story. They have a bit of information for adults that'll tell you about the type of maths that this game will teach them. This will teach them about probability evaluation, and it's got some memory things to it as well. So it's got a bit of a comic book. Basically, in this story, we have got the cupcakes, and we want to invite Zerda Fox to join our cupcake party. So we are going to go on a journey to find him. We've got various different roads that these tents split into. And along the way, we're going to meet all kinds of creatures from all these different races. And the races are really nice as well. They're, they're, they're really cute things. They're, they, you know, there are guardians of castles and mythic ones where you have the, the Ents, the Tree Men and the Unicorns. Uh, the Horizon is called the Elfies were once human beings. Due to years of researching card magic, their appearance grew more and more like poker cards. And then the Archaic are the mysterious, you know, golem creatures. So we are going to encounter all these creatures who are very hungry and love cupcakes. And we have cupcakes, so of course we're going to share them. But we need to get to, you know, the Zerda Fox with some cupcakes. Otherwise, there's been no point. So if we run out of cupcakes, we're going to have to go back to the beginning, get some more and carry on. So I'm playing against uh, Little Glass Marty again, who is still fluffy. I am still Jack because I won the first game. This is just an optional thing, but I think it's nice how they all follow on. Because I won the first game, I have this cupcake that we made. And so basically, I start the game off with one extra cupcake. I have 16 cupcakes. Marty has 15. So on your turn, you have three options. You can stay where you are and take a cupcake, and then you don't have to do anything else. You can only have 15, though. So really you're at your limit at the start anyway this this is just an extra thing uh, you can take an ice cream instead and you choose which flavor of ice cream you want and they are kind of permanent foods that you'll have they will only work for certain types of creatures but they will be permanent whereas the cupcakes will go away and the main thing that you're going to be doing though is moving so i think that's where we will start i am going to be the first player i am going to move here and we look at the color of the space that i move to and we draw a card of that color to find out which creature i have encountered so i have found the gluttony dragon who we are going to be seeing more of in the next game uh, spoilers so we see what race he's from that matters for a variant in the game and if you have ice cream so you can only feed you know that ice cream to the gluttony dragon because he's got that symbol on him anyway he is hungry and we like him so we are going to give him four cupcakes to try and satisfy his hunger so he is all happy and we are going to leave him eating there. Marty's turn. I think he is going to go down to the green here. Let's see what he finds. He finds the Elflush. And, you know, same thing. He's just a different race. So you would need that kind of ice cream to feed to him. He only wants three cupcakes, though. So that is OK. Marty can feed those no problem. So at the start, you can kind of go, you've got loads of cupcakes. It doesn't matter too much. The next space, I think I'm going to go red. Let's try some red instead. And I have found the Elf Elder. So they want four cupcakes, which is still still okay, I think. I've still got quite a lot of cupcakes. Marty, he hasn't got a choice here. He's moved too far to the edge, so he's going to have to go red. And he has found the Golem Mini. And that is good. That's really good. He only wants one. He's only tiny, so he only wants one cupcake to be fed. So he spends one cupcake. Whereas I'm kind of uh, running out. It's not that desperate yet. Let's go for a different colour. Let's go for this light blue. I can't pick up the card. And I found a unicorn. So I am going to feed three cupcakes to the unicorn and leave him enjoying those. Marty's still stuck on the edge here. I think he's going to be stuck the entire way. Uh, purple is going to be his next card, the Elephant. And yeah, another tiny one. Marty's getting really lucky with these cupcakes. And I <laughs> I've put myself in the same position. I am going to encounter someone on the green space. And Ent's just a tiny tree, so that is just one cupcake from me as well. We're going to get really lucky and be able to win this without getting cupcakes. 
Uh, the rainbow unicorn. There we go. Marty's found some a very hungry unicorn. Uh, he's he should have the cupcakes. He helped us make them. So one, two, three, four. He needs to spend four, but he's still got loads because of all of those cheap cards that he found. I'm going to go to the red space. And just an Ent Warrior. That's just two cupcakes, which is good. So now I'm at risk. If I go there next turn and the person is hungrier, wants more than two cupcakes, tough luck. I am going to go back to the start with 15 cupcakes, but back to the start. And Marty could potentially steal it from under me. He's got a load of cupcakes, so he's going to carry on. He's going to go for a green card. And he finds an Ent Warrior who only wants two cupcakes. Now Marty's got four and I think that's the maximum feeding, so I think he could win this. I have my extra cupcake, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. So do I stop and just have one cupcake? Do I stop and just take a chance and get a color of ice cream? I think we need to risk it because Marty can win it, can't he? We just need to risk it. What is the purple card? It's the Golemota who is hungry for three cupcakes. So we give him two, but he's still hungry. So we need to go back home get 15 more cupcakes, and we would start the journey again. Marty, on the other hand, was uh, met less greedy people, and he's found an elf that just wants one again. Oh, that's not green. So he hasn't got that lucky. Spoilers for the next green space. He's found the Goliathum, the Goliathum, and he wants four, but Marty's still got four, and he has won the game. He takes this ice cream. He has met with the Zerda Fox, and we are all having a nice party here with the delicious uh, multi-tiered ice creams rather than the little ones here. So we didn't really need those in that. This was just the basic game. So I didn't really mention at the start, this is for each of these games are kind of more difficult than the previous ones. So the first one, the, the Rainbow Unicorn, was for children three and up. This one is for four and up. And... This is the most basic version of the game. So it's very, very quick, very, very simple for the younger children. But once they have mastered that, it's got a lot of different things in it. So now you could now you could play the complete rules. So instead of winning just like that, which, you know, is, is quite quick, it comes with, if I can just grab them out of the big bag, it comes with these balloon tokens that you can see on the board there. They look like that. So Marty would now get his number one balloon token and he would go back to the start with 12 cupcakes. And now he's gonna have to make more decisions as he comes back down and the cards will get reshuffled and stuff. And you need to do it three times. And this will help with, uh, you know, the, the ice cream's not that, not that useful. He can't, Marty won with luck of the draw on this, didn't have to take any cupcakes and just won. But, uh, you know, that might not have happened uh, with the slightly different ordering of the cards. But going through three times, it's going to make these a lot more useful because they will come in handy a lot more often. In just running through it once, it's very quick. And if you make the wrong decision, you've wasted a turn. Whereas if you're going through three times, an ice cream is probably going to come in real handy. Remember, they feed they, they feed one hunger of the person you've encountered and don't go away. So that's the complete rules. And it also, as with the first game, it also comes with some advanced rules that you can mix and match as you, you know, enjoy the game more. So the cupcake from Secret Forest was an advanced rule. I just like the idea of the game following on, so I used it in this. We have joining races. So if you have a favorite race, you can choose to join one of the races at the start of the game and you get one of their emblems. And if you encounter that creature in the game that you are allied with, then you don't have to feed them. You can try Super Mix, which is just mix all the cards together because if you've played it a lot, you might get familiar with who's on what space. You can just mix all of the cards together and you just draw from the space of the color that you went on, but you're not necessarily gonna get that color of card. And finally, we have Zerda's Magical Die, which has six sides and will give you, you can choose this as one of your actions. This is the fourth option for an action of your turn. So you can either peek at the next card on a pile, get two cupcakes, or get an ice cream. So it seems like a very nice option on your turn, although it's random what you're gonna be getting. As with the first game as well, you saw that thing at the beginning of the rules where it tells you about probability and stuff and why this is useful. This is a bit more in depth about you know what 
what it's going to teach the children and how it applies in life as well. So nice little educational tool again. So that was Numeracy Legends Part 2, The Zerda Fox. So if you would like to see more, there are two more games in the series. You can click the link for the playlist and see all of the Numeracy Legends goodness and there will be a video where I talk about what I think of the games as well. Uh, there'll be a Kickstarter link in the description. Remember, this is on Kickstarter right now. So thanks very much for watching everyone and I'll see you for the next game. Bye.